All right, guys, check it out. Welcome to part two of Big Red, the F450. Got Axel here chilling. Oh, buddy. Um, organized my life today. We went ahead and pulled out the new dash. Going to tear that apart. So um, the only hiccups I have to deal with right now is to get the correct bezel uh, so we can run these 05 to 07 switches. Because his knobs, he does have the manual AC setup, so we're going to run these. We just need to get the correct bezel for this. And then um, he also, we still have the wrong window switches and no pigtails. So that's another thing I need to track down. So those are gonna be on my list of things to do. Other than that, the build's going pretty good. Um, you know, we did the headliner yesterday, today a new day. Um, so what I'm working on now is uh, I wanna get all the speakers in. So he went ahead and he supplied me with these Rockfords uh, because these stock ones are garbage, bro. <laughs> Those, what? Yeah, I think that's paper. We can make a paper airplane out of this. That's funny. But all right, so yeah, garbage. So I'm gonna get these bad boys in. I already did the back ones because those are pretty simple. Just two wires bolted in. The front's a little bit, takes me a little more because we're running new style mirrors. They're just basics. They just have turn signal and running lights and ma manually adjust. They're really simple. So what I did was I want to cut off the new plug. I uh, cut and spliced on the old plug that was on the old mirrors so we could just plug right back into the factory harness. And then I added a plug for the turn signal, the running light and the ground. And so I have them going right here and I have them feeding through the door to right here. So when I remove this dash, I'm gonna feed these through the body harness and add them on a body plug over here. So they'll be plug and play, I guess you could say. And then um, I can't do anything about this or the door cups till I get them. Hopefully I can get them tonight. So other than that, once we get the speaker back on here, this door is done for now. The doors will be done for now. So I track down those parts. And then the next step we're gonna do is start building a body harness for the 08 seats and the 08 center console because there's no power going to the passenger. There's no power for the center console. So I need to figure out a way to do that magic. Then once we get that done, I can do the seat belts. And once the seat belts are done, I can lay the carpet. And once the carpet's down, I can lay the plastic pillars. And then we can go ahead and put the seats and then the seats will be plug and play. And then we will have everything done except the door panels and the dash. And I want that dash out tonight. So time to get crack a lacking. Let me get busy. Let me finish up these mirrors. I still gotta do that side. You see it hanging out. So let me get these mirrors in, let me get these speakers in, and then uh, I'm gonna start building this body, body harness. So, gang, gang. All right, guys, check it out. So, we got both mirrors done, plugged in. We got the new speakers in there. I've got uh, my little pigtails for both mirrors so we can wire up the turn signals and running lights once we pull the dash out. Got those ready to go. So now the last, their next step on the body harness is gonna be uh, the cigarette lighters in the center console and then the power for the passenger side and heated seats on both of them. So we gotta add a little bit of wires here. Um, the only power we have is on the driver's side. And I get asked this a lot. Hey Zach, I'm putting newer seats or you know, out of a 6.0 or you know, 6.4 or 6.7 or something out of my, into my older truck and it doesn't have power going to both sides, what do I do? And so usually what I'll do is um, I'm gonna piggyback everything off of this one um, I think I'm going to do the cigarette lighters separate and I'm going to piggyback them off the dash cigarette lighters because um, we're not going to add any extra fuse boxes or add any extra stuff for this. So I am going to piggyback everything off the factory harness um, since I don't think it's really going to pull enough current to really make a difference. So um, with that being said, you know, they're like, hey, Zach, how do I plug them in? So I don't know what these plugs are called, Molex plugs or some or whatever, but this one's only a four pin. The new seats use the same style plug, but they use an eight pin. So you can actually pull these pins out and slide them into an 08 plug and technically make your seat plug and play if you get the other end of this plug that's an eight pin. So it's pretty easy. You just pull out that red tab in the middle that I have lit up, and then you can just de-pin it and pull the pins out and slide them in an 08 plug. So I'll go ahead and show you on the seat what I'm talking about. So. But other than that, um, I'm definitely gonna use my own plug for the, the center console since I don't have a piggyback for that. So, all right, we got the seats laid out for you, a little demonstration. So these are the, this is the same style plug I'm talking about, but see, this one's an eight pin. It's got eight cavities, same style. And then uh, I actually happen to have some pigtails. So what I can do is do the same thing, pull out that red center piece, pull the pins out and slide in the, the factory old ones into this plug and then, boom, 
We have now an 08 plug on the old truck plugging into the new seat. And like, let's say you don't have this pigtail and you don't know what the heck you're doing. You're like, oh, Zach, I don't know. Like, I don't have the other end of the plug. I don't know where to find it. Um, luckily, I have a stash of plugs, a secret stash that I'm not gonna tell you about, but I, I don't have any plugs. So don't ask me unless it's a dire need. But all right, so if you don't have your own plugs, you know, what I recommend, you know, I, I use these on all my builds when I don't have plugs is um, these style plugs, get them on Amazon. I have a YouTube video on them. If you want to look them up, that's what they're called. There's some German fancy stuff. Um, this is an eight pinner, but um, they come in all kinds of stuff. You get your pins. I use this pin and tools like 20 bucks if you're interested on Amazon, but you get all this stuff on Amazon. Um, it's the best way to go because I mean for 10 bucks you could probably uh, you probably need the pins and everything but I'd say you know 30 bucks into it you could repin everything so instead of trying to track down this this bad boy so but um I might use these just for shits and giggles I haven't decided yet but let me figure out this situation and then uh let me build the harness in there and I'll show you what I did and then uh, we'll be able to drop the carpet and then we'll be able to just put these in, plug them in and bolt them in and we'll be good to go. So let me get crack a lacking and I'll tell you what I did. All right guys, so I forgot to mention something with these seats. So these 08 seats, um, they have a memory module. That's what this black box is under here. So usually if you don't have this black box, usually you have like a jumper wire over here that does what we're about to do. So um, basically we're not using this memory module. The, this truck ain't even equipped with it. You know, we don't need it. We need to bypass it. So we're gonna delete it. So what's what's happening right now is if you hook up 12 volt and ground to, the, to this, it goes to the switch and then from the switch, it comes down into here, into the computer and the computer controls the motors, these three motors. And then these are the little sensors for it. So the computer knows where the motors are at and that's how the memory module works. So, you know, it's like, oh, uh, and you're there. So like the computer can track shit. Um, but we need to delete all this computer bullshit and make it like any other normal seat where you get power coming in to the switch and from the switch straight to the motor. So anytime you hit this, it moves a motor. Um, and so what we're gonna need to do is we have everything's coming in here and going out. So we need our end motors from the switch we need to cut and splice them to the motor wires going out. That's what we need to do. So you can kind of do everything right here, um, but connect them if you want. Um, if you're wondering on what wire goes where, I'm about to tell you. And then these are the sensor wires. Um, I can get my thumb under this one. Come on, ah, whatever, I'll get a flathead. But um, you can delete this little harness or leave it, doesn't really matter. And then people are always telling me, hey, what's up with this relay? What does this relay do? So this relay is for the heated seats. So if your seat has this under it, um, it's for heated seats. This is what I'm about to tell you and showing you is only for 08 to 10 seats, okay? It's not for 11 to 16, not for 60 seats. I'm pretty sure 60 seats are very similar, but this is only for 08 to 10 seats, okay? So, all right, let's sit down and show you what we got. So if you want this PDF, um, hit me up, I'll send it to you, or you can just screenshot it. So this is a seat without memory module. You got your power and ground coming into the switch, from the switch straight to the three motors. Simple as that. Passenger seats set up the same way, all of them are. Uh, passengers don't come with the memory module. All right, and this is uh, the switches on the door, so when you hit the one or two, it goes to the computer under the seat. But we don't need that, we're not using that. What you need is this bad boy. So you got your power coming in from the switch to the computer and then the computer controls the motors. We don't want that. We want to get rid of this computer. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take these wires right here, these six wires, and then we're going to cut. We're going to basically cut them right there. And we're going to splice them right here. And basically this plug is that white one right there I was showing you. So, if you're wondering which which of these wires go to these wires, um, here's this little guide that I made for you. So you got your ground and power coming in to the switch, and then you got each of these. So those are, those are these wires on the switch. And then these wires on the motor that you're gonna use are these ones. So you're gonna cut and splice this. This is what you're gonna do. And I told you what each one does, so you should be able to figure it out with this. It ain't rocket science, so. All right, now for the heated seat switches. 
little bit more complicated. Um, so you got your ground coming in, and then these are your heated seat elements on your butt and your back. And so they're always grounded out, ready to go. All they need is 12 volts on this end, and they'll start heating up. So they're very simple to wire up. So basically, this is gonna be your main power source coming in. So you want this wire a little thick, you know, nothing crazy. But um, this is what's gonna power it in. And, and when this relay, remember that, that black relay up there I showed you, that guy right there? That's what this is. So basically, you got your main power coming in. And once this little magnet flips that switch, they start turning on. So you're gonna want this to always be hot, basically. That's what it says, hot all the time. So you want, this to be your main power source that's gonna heat them up. Now this green wire and this gray wire, you can use thin wires for this. There's only triggers, you know, they're probably only gonna pull a fraction of an amp. So you don't need thick wires everywhere, just, you know, a semi-thick one for this. You know, probably, I can't even think of what gauge, but um, that's what you're gonna do. So you got your ground set up, and then you got your main power set up. And now for your triggers, um, what I think I'm gonna do is just ground out the gray and ground out the white. Um, so this is this is the driver's side and this is the passenger side, okay? They're connected together and this is the controls on the dash. And the, con and the dash controls them through negative. But that's not what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna ground out these this white blue and this gray yellow. I'm gonna tap them to this black violet. So we're gonna tie all this together right here all together so basically this relay will the relays will always be grounded out and all they need is a little 12 volt trigger on this green and boom it'll flap that switch and boom your booty start getting hot so that's how that works i right? ground out these run main power to that and run this through the dash and a little trigger so but um you see how it says 20 amps for both seats both seats so how often are you guys moving your seats? Not that often. So that's why I said I'm gonna piggyback everything off of that single driver's side wire in there because that single green wire on the driver's side, it's rated for 30 amps. So I know it can handle the heated seats, no problem. So I think the only way you could blow the 30 amp fuse on this truck is if you got both heated seats going and you're sitting there like a little 12 year old sitting there moving back and forth and both seats. I think that's the only way you'd blow it. And what are the chances of that? Um, very slim to know. So I'm gonna piggyback everything off the factory harness. So I hope this helps you wire your seats. I've freaking been talking for a while. So let me, let me get to work. Let me bypass this. Let me set this all up. Let me set the truck up and I'll come back and show you what I did. So hell yeah. All right, guys, check it out, check it out, check it out. So um, I kind of jerry-rigged it for right now just to, you know, did the good old uh, spin thing just to test them because I'm not going to lie, it's been a while since I bypassed the memory module. It's probably been like two years, so it's kind of fresh for me. But uh, my guide right here was right. It was pretty much right on the money. Pretty stoked with it. Um, so screenshot that. Um, but check it out. So I got my Milwaukee jumper on there. Check it out. So we're going to make it go back. Bring it back up, and then we're gonna make the front taller. Then we're gonna make the front smaller. We'll make the back taller. Oh no, that's lower. My bad. And then we'll make the front taller, or back taller. Ah, oh, tongue twister right there. So boom, uh, that boom, we got that seat moving. Now with that one, we don't have to do this. It's just power and ground. And that's all that seat needs. And uh, these 08 to 10 seats, they don't have airbags in them. So don't worry about that. If you're wondering about all the wiring, this is the relay for the heated. And these go to the heated elements for your butt and your back. So there's no airbags. Um, I'm probably just going to snip this off. So we just have a nice clean wiring set up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bust out my soldering iron. And what I'm going to do is uh, clean this up. I'm going to delete all the wires we're not going to use which are probably those guys just dangling. And I'll snip them far back as I can. And then I'm just gonna start going wire by wire, cut and splice it and make it short. And it's short enough to where I can stick it all, so it's all hiding inside this tube, tape the tube back up. And then, you know, really that's all you're gonna see is a nice clean seat like that. And then um, I'll probably repin this plug and I'm I, honestly, I think I'm gonna use it. So it's gonna be a pretty sweet setup. So. Now that we know we got the seat going and we got the heated going, um, I think we're ready to rock and roll. So let me mess around with the heat and I'll let you know what I do about that. All right, guys, check it out, check it out, check it out. So I got the seat pretty much done, uh, ready to rock and roll. I've got my Milwaukee ready to jump it. I got this so we can see the, the volts when I turn on the heated seats. 
Um, so now we have our power coming in, looping this way, bypassing that module and shooting straight to the motors, basically. So um, you can see all my little wires up in there, basically. The whole heat shrink ready to go. Oh, shit, my bad, guys. So our seat is ready to rock and roll. So heck yeah, make the front taller. So heck yeah. So cool, we got movement good to go. And now the heated is gonna be just this positive trigger. So I was able to narrow the seat down to, to four wires. You can see what I deleted. Um, I put all the common grounds together and I put all the common positives together. Um, and other than that, she's ready to rock and roll. Uh, so basically the only thing that's gonna trigger it on is this little orange wire and that'll trigger it on the heat. And we should get voltage when I do this. Oh, if I can hold it. Hold on. I don't think one of these grounds is in there, right? Oh, oh yep, it was falling out. Yep, and what do we got? Boom. Voila. So, heated seats are going. We got almost 12 volt going to them. And that's pretty much it. The seat's ready to rock and roll. Take that out. And now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this plug on my body harness. So our seats will still be plug and play. It's gonna be pretty cool. Other than that, um, yeah, the seat's pretty much ready to rock and roll. So, all right, let me build my body harness to get these bad boys in here. I'm pretty sure this video's starting to get long. Okay, guys, so uh, for the for the passenger side, uh, it's the gray plug, and you've got, what is that, five wires? And remember, the bottom of this relay, this gray-yellow, I want to ground out, too. Remember, I wanted to run all these grounds together. So I'm going to tap this gray-yellow to this one so we can delete that one wire so it'll be tapped like that. And then um, these are your two main power wires coming in. One's for the heat and one's for movement. And like, what are the chances you're really gonna be using both of them at the same time on a boat seat? Probably very rare, especially down here in Southern Florida. Mm -mm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie these two wires together and tie those. So basically said and done, we'll only have three wires going to this plug. Super awesome. And four wires going to this one. And the extra one's for the seat belt. So boom, bada bing, narrow it down, less clutter. So let me go ahead and knock out this seat. Super simple. Tie together, tie together, done. Mm. All right, guys, so I got the passenger set up, good to go. So you can see where I spliced them all together. And now we're just really running three wires. That's it. And boom, voila. So um, now that we have both seats pretty much complete, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on there, make it look pretty. Um, and the center console's done, so all that's left is uh, build the body harness and these suckers will be plug and play. So boom, boom, cha-cha. Okay guys, check it out, check it out. So this will be the last part of this video. So, you know, we got those plugs ready to rock and roll. We got the center console plug ready to rock and roll. So these seats are ready to be plug and play. Um, check out the body harness that I just built. So you got the driver's seat and the center console plug and now the driver plug. So this was the original one. I was able to pull the pins out and slide them in here and they're ready to go. And this is the extra wire I'm adding for the heat. And this is for the passenger heat. And then the short wires are gonna piggyback onto these power wires for the driver's seat. So the driver and the, the driver and the passenger seat are both gonna be piggybacked. Now these other positive wires are gonna be the, the cigarette lighters for the center console. And all that's gonna run behind the dash and plug into the dash. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll square that away when I pull the dash. But other than that, um, the body harness is pretty much um, set up. So um, yeah, other than that, the seats are ready to go. Body harness is kind of ready to go. Other than that, this uh, pretty much is gonna include the video. It's getting kind of late. I'm gonna tackle the rest tomorrow, so. Hell yeah, now you know how to put 08 seats into a truck that doesn't have fancy seats. So, whew, I'm ready to call it a day, boys. So, all right, next video is going to be me putting in the seat belts and the pillar plastics and laying the carpet, and we're going to put the seats in uh, tomorrow. So, I really don't feel like doing all that because uh, once we put the carpet in, then all that going. I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna quit talking. So I'll see y'all later. I hope this video helps someone out. Uh, deuces.